This is not a, a facade for me. This is written in my script. This is in the video that we're doing a video where different ways of training and getting to people and stuff like that. So I'm taking what I'm doing serious. I want to do it with the help nobody else is doing. It. So the three things is the perceived value, right? That's the opening. Perceived value. But see, there's also people that have a fake, uh, a fake initial impression. They play this character, but as you get to talk to the person and you build relate, you realize this guy's nowhere near that perceived value I have, right? So what I always try to do, there's only one way to do it right. Be who you are, be yourself, and people either buy it to you or leave them. Because let me tell you something, doing a lie is a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, one line makes a big ten thousand line together, and then you're in trouble. So I said, you know what? Keep it simple, simple. Just be who you are. And there's nothing wrong with who you are. And either people, it's not for everybody, right? But the right people will see the wrong thing. So the perceived value I always try to portray is listen, you know, I'm going to be honest all the time. This is the way I am. This is what you see is what you get. I wear it on my sleeve. You're never going to see me too high or too low it makes me serious at time because I'm in the thought but I'm the same person no matter what I don't what excites me is the process to the deal getting the credit card is what I'm supposed to do I'm doing my job but man how do I get there was it challenging the guy to do this and I learned that that's the exciting part for me and when I'm in that zone this is what I do all right uh, intrinsic value I like that word intrinsic because like charisma, what's charisma? You can't really put it, but you just know that person has charisma. Don't really know, it's just, they have it. It's intangible. But what I try to look at, intrinsic is something inside of somebody that you see this person has it, or you have to convey that over the phone. Hey, I want that guy, I want that guy to be on my team. And then the real value, oh, I'm really trying to think of another word. If you guys can come up with a word that might be better, I would, I would use it. But real value is, I learned to keep it real. Value is what, you, what two people do together that gets the end result. To me, that's value. Hey, I got you from, hey, I got 10 of these calls to, hey man, you know, I'm glad you charge me thousand dollars or five dollars, you know. That's valuable. So those are the three Bs that um, I look, I try to live by every single day. Paul, I was a uh, stockbroker for uh, Morgan Stanley and a very uh, famous branch manager, his name was Gary Abraham. They used to fly him around the country to speak to like new brokers, to talk about the business. And so he's like the greatest public speaker ever. And I asked him once, Gary, what are the, like what makes you so good at public speaking? He said two things. One, practice, like John was saying earlier today. Practice your craft. Two, passion. If you love what you're doing, that's the key. One of the things I've learned is when you love what you do, you never work because it doesn't become a problem. You know, like at times, you know, I go through these struggles, like dealing with this and that or whatever. I realize I said, attitudes contagious, minds work catching. I always ask myself, I said, you know, is my attitude good for people? If, it, if it's not, I need to leave because I, I, I cannot, I cannot stand that. I hate, I hate it with a passion, I, and I don't like to use the word hate, but I hate that with all my passion. Where people got just a bad attitude and try to bring other people down, I won't let that happen on my floor. I just say, go on, wash your face. Because after a certain time, if you can't get yourself out of that slump, you might as well go home. Right? Yeah.